Hello again everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are having a look at everything you need to get started with using Adobe Premiere Rush. Before I go on and start this tutorial, I need to mention that you can use Adobe Premiere Rush for free for only three video exports. This means you can create as many videos as you want but you will only be able to download just three videos. Of course, with the free version, there are also some limits in terms of storage, but you get all of the functionalities to test out the tool. Now, to create a new project, just go to create a new project. And if you need some stock videos, which you can use for free to get started with this tool, to create your own project or just to test Adobe Premiere Rush, I recommend using Paxels. They have free photos and videos as well. So I'm just going to select some of the videos from here and use them for our project. After I have all of my videos, I'm just going to choose one to start with. And you can add the rest of them now or later, but I'm just adding them now. Click on create and wait for the tool to prepare your video. Now, once everything is loaded, your workspace might not look exactly like mine. So to customize it to your own needs, you have first this button here to help you adjust the size of your preview screen. Also, another very important thing for beginners is to go to the bottom scroll bar and you have these round circles at each corner of the scroll bar. Just move them to make sure you are either seeing all of the seconds of the video in great detail or if you want a better look at the general video. This is also the view you should go for when editing music, for instance. Now for some basic steps, let's just see how editing videos actually works. Now to delete a video, you can just click on any video and click delete. If you want to trim, that means to cut the video and keep only parts of it, what I like about Adobe Premiere Rush is that it has one of the easiest processes for this. Just take this blue line and move it anywhere throughout a video where you want to make a cut. Then go to this split your clip option, click on it. And what this does is that it separates your video into two distinct videos. This means you can take this one, for instance, and move it by simply dragging it and dropping it anywhere else. And you'll be left with your video or just delete this part you don't need. And in the same way, you can just make cuts anywhere and delete any part of that video. So let's say, for instance, this third video. If you wanted to keep the middle of the video, you would make a cut here and another one here. Notice I am cutting a lot of the video just because I don't like the fact that since my file sizes are large, it slows down the tool a bit. Now I'm just going to delete the extra videos and I'm deleting some more just to keep the video shorter. To preview your video, you can always go back to the beginning and click on play. You can also speed it up as many times as necessary. Now, in this case, my video doesn't have any audio, but if the first one were to have some kind of audio, maybe a person speaking, and you want to keep that audio while showing the next video, you can just go and grab this video and put it on top of the other one. And the one on top will be shown while the audio from the first one is kept. Now, I'm going to click on Control or Command Z to go back to my initial setting. And one thing I want to do now is to add some transitions between my videos. Now, this is not always the next step. You can do everything in your own order, but let's just go and select transitions. Now, there aren't that many options with the transitions, so you can test them out by clicking on them, grabbing one and just add them wherever you want that transition to appear between two videos in this case here we're going to click play to see how the transition works and notice here a situation in which 
My videos are not the same size, so the transition is not obviously going to be a smooth one. So in this case, I'm just going to delete this video by clicking delete. Always make sure you have the right sizes for your videos. Now next I want to edit these two videos that I have and I will go to color. And here you can either use one of the presets, for instance, Fuji, and edit its intensity or go and edit the video yourself with some basic edits. You also got some advanced options such as a faded film or sharpening which can also be used to blur the video a bit if you lower the sharpening. Then you've got a vignette if you want that. And once you get all of these right, you can go to more options, create a preset, name it, and you will find it in your presets. So you can just take this and add it to all of your videos. Now to add text to your video, you're going to go to titles and just choose one of the titles from here. And you can either add it somewhere after the video, before the video, as a different screen so that it will be something like this. Or take your writing and put it on top of a video. And if you want a longer title, audio or video, you just grab each corner of it and move it according to your needs. And it should look something like this. Now to edit the writing, just double click on it and write anything else. And then you will automatically be taken to the editing board from where you can change the font, the size, character spacing, line spacing, and some other options in here, including the color of the fill, outline, and shadow. And of course, you can also edit the shape, in this case, the line below, in case you don't like maybe the color. Just choose a different one. And really, you can add as much writing as you want to. You can just grab another title and put it on top. And really, this will be if you want to have more than just one area for text. Now, if I want to add music to this whole video, I am going to this plus sign. And from here, I can either add a title, media, including videos and songs, and voiceover, which will essentially allow me to record my voice from this tool. Now, to add a song, just click on media and select one of the songs you have. You can either click on it or just grab it for more control, add it where you want it to start. Just as a quick mention, the tool automatically saves everything you do, but to give it a few seconds before you decide to leave, just to make sure that indeed everything was saved. Now to trim the song, you can do it just the way I did with the video. Just cut it wherever you want it to be cut and move it around. Again, grab your blue line, click on trim, and delete what you don't need. To edit the audio after you've edited it, go to audio. And from here, you can do some basic editing, such as lowering the volume, setting it on mute if you want a certain part of the recording not to be heard. And you've also got some other types of advanced editing options. And let's just preview our video again in full screen. Now, of course, this is just a video I've put together to show you how the tool works. It's by far not a perfect video, so this is really all you will need 
to get started with using this tool. And of course, there are some other features as well, such as cropping your video and transforming it. You can really do this with its element, with the video itself. You can zoom in, crop it on top if maybe you want an effect such as this one, or both and just show the middle of the screen. You can turn a video into opaque. It's really one of the easiest tools you can use right now to edit your videos and it should take you less than two hours to master. I have also previously created a tutorial for using Adobe Spark, which is also a good option if you're looking to create images and videos. Using both of them will make you realize that editing videos is actually not that difficult and you only need a bit of patience in order to create your video project. Now, if you liked this video, don't forget to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe for more such content. Have a wonderful day and best of luck with your video project.